The prospect of death was never far from these people's minds as they made their escape. I was so scared from the road. It was full of landmines. I didn't leave my mother at all. It was so scary. Nine-year-old Hiba and her family crawled through bushes and walked for 15 hours to reach a Peshmerga checkpoint. The children were so terrified, they heeded their father's warning. We implemented a concrete rule. No one would utter a single syllable, because if anyone spoke, ISIL would catch us. I felt so sorry in these dark moments. I burst out crying, but I hugged them and told them we would make it to safety. When we met Hiba and her family, it had been five days since they fled the ISIL-controlled town of Hawija. Thanks to a good Samaritan, they were taking shelter inside this partially constructed building in Kirkuk. Down there went to Hawija. A Kurdish Peshmerga colonel we spoke to says they could have driven out ISIL from Hawija long ago. The city is in the oil-rich province of Kirkuk in northern Iraq. It's also the center of a historic dispute between the Kurdish regional government and the federal government in Baghdad. Both want to claim Kirkuk as part of their territory. We can't move an inch or begin an offensive without a political and military consensus between the central government in Baghdad and the Kurdish regional government. We are truly angry, but this is a political mechanism. But as you know, the military establishment waits to take orders. So the people of Hawija remain at the mercy of ISIL. Regardless of the political infighting, the longer the fight continues, the harder our uncertain future becomes. Hiba and her family say they want to remain optimistic and believe they'll go home soon, but they won't have a house to return to. After they escaped, neighbors told them ISIL demolished it and looted their belongings. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Kirkuk Province, Iraq.